let me get you caught up to what's going on out here. This morning when I came to check cattle, I noticed that heifer 2208 here had a new calf out in the field. She delivered it unassisted. That part's awesome. But I noticed as I pulled up and you know slowed down to look at her, that as soon as she saw me and my truck, she went running off to the other end of the field. And I thought, well, you know, heifers, they, they do silly things sometimes. I'm sure if I just leave them alone, she'll come back. Well, she never did. And after several hours, I was really starting to doubt whether or not this calf had gotten up and nursed yet. So much so that I decided at the bare minimum, I at least needed to lock mother and baby up here in the corral so that I could watch them a little bit more closely and then kind of make a judgment call on what to do next. After I got them both locked in here, the calf did make an attempt to nurse and I never really could get at an angle where I could really definitively see that it did latch on and get something, although it certainly looked like it and sounded like it a couple of times. I think there's a decent chance that the calf has gotten some nutrition from its mother today, but I'm just not sure that it's gotten enough and I'm worried about the little guy. I will feel a lot better if I get mother up here in the chute and we do like an assisted nursing so that I know the calf has gotten at least something in him today. And I think if I can accomplish that, that just keeping them locked up in this pen for a couple of more days will kind of work out the rest of the kinks as long as they're in close quarters and mother can't get too far away from him, I, I think we'll be all right. So we're gonna try to see what we can do. That's what's going on today on Farmer Tyler Ranch. If this was a little bit of an older mature cow, it would be a lot easier to tell if the calf had nursed off of her, but with her being a first calf heifer, her bag is really small and it's pretty difficult to tell if anyone's nursed off of her or not. Another thing that you can do sometimes is feel the sides of the calf and you can kind of sort of get an idea if they have gotten something in there. And this guy actually does feel like he's eaten something. He's not as skinny as and sunken in as I have seen some in the past. So I feel somewhat confident that he has eaten uh, to the point where I think what I would like to do before I go ahead and try to put her in the chute, I wanna throw some feed in here to get her to kind of mellow out and hold still. And then we'll see if we can stand this calf up and see if he goes for it. On your feet, on your feet. You're just kind of weak. Now you can stand. You can see the calf kind of shows some interest, but doesn't really get up in there and do it. This could either be because he's already done it and he's full, he's not hungry right now, or it could be that, you know, he's just been trying and hasn't figured it out and just doesn't really know what to do. So where I'm at with this is I think there's a pretty decent chance, I, I'm gonna say like 80%, maybe even more, that the calf has nursed but because you know that first nurse is it's so critical i think just as a precaution i'm going to put her in the chute and try to assist him if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't if he fights me too hard then i'll just assume that he's full but we will at least try this and then that way if in the end it all goes south at least i know i tried <laughs> Oh, hey. 
That's not cool, man. Come on. Pull back. And go back. And because there's a chance that we might need to do this again, let's try to make this a nice experience for her and give her something to eat up here so, um, you know, she's not impossible to get back in the chute if we need to do this again. I'm gonna give her a little bit of a body squeeze so that she can't dance around too much. I'm gonna leave her head somewhat loose so that she can reach down and get the hay comfortably. And we are gonna work on this side because I won't hit my head on levers on the squeeze chute. I really need to get my arrow equip set up. It, this job would be 10 times easier if I had it. All right, Junior. Let's get you over there. I know, you're taking a nap. I know. Can you walk or do I need to carry you? You might have nursed that one. Got milk. That one's got milk. That one's got milk. Every one but this one. It's a dry quarter. Okay. I know this pipe's in your way. Well, calf, obviously not at all interested. I mean, it's tough because they're fighting you and all that, but looking at its stomach, it looks like it's nursed. And now I see it urinating. That's another good sign that it has nursed. So I think I'm gonna put these back in the pen together. I'll leave them locked up for a few days just so they have to stay in close quarters. But I think for now, we're gonna, we're gonna call this for tonight. And all this time, I've been calling the calf he. It's a she. Well, I'll leave these two for now, but we'll definitely be keeping a close eye on them from here on out. Just rolling into the winter pasture. Figured better go ahead and check on things over here. 14 of them hanging out over here. And I think we've reached the point in calving season where the cows with calves kind of start their own herd and the cows without calves stay in theirs. And they'll kind of stay separated like that, interestingly enough until the majority of the cows have calves and then they all kind of join up back together. All right, well, the rest of the cows in the trees here make 20, but it looks like one of them's got a calf back there that did not have one before. So that looks like number 42, which means we need to get a tag ready. And judging by what I can see from here, looks like rivet struck again. Hey, sorry about that. Nice little bull calf. It's funny, all the calves coming out of rivet, I assumed since he was half black Angus that that color would be mostly what we saw out of him, but it's turning out that that is not the case. Well, I thought I'd just swing by here again on my way back from the winter pasture to check on these two, and I'm glad that I did because when I peeked around the barn, this is what I saw. Hopefully you're able to see with that shoddy camera work shooting through the boards of the fence, but the calf is definitely latched on and nursing like he knows exactly, like she knows exactly what she's doing. 
So that's what I really wanted to see. I can, I can sleep a lot easier tonight knowing that everything is good between those two. But I think that I still will leave them locked up probably through tomorrow. Um, just because that heifer was really showing, you know, not, not a great desire to stay near the calf out in the pasture. And I think after about two to three days of age, the calf will be old enough to stay with her and that won't be an issue. But until that time passes, I think it's better to leave them locked up. Okay, so <clears throat> this morning I gave the bottle calf about three quarters of a bottle and he finished that pretty good. So maybe we'll try a whole bottle today and see if he can do it. So we're doing two cups of the milk replacer and then I give him a teaspoon of this Redmond first month. This is supposed to be good for him. That's what we're doing. Anybody home? There's the guy. You hungry? Yeah, buddy. Here, can you find it yourself? There. Why'd you let go of it, man? Same place it was. It didn't move. It didn't move. It didn't move. It's right here. It's right here. Okay. There you go. The little guy did pretty good tonight. He got a little bit left in there, but pretty much finished the bottle. I'll see you in the morning. We'll do it again, huh? It's the next morning now. I've already made my rounds this morning and I didn't bring a camera with me because I thought, you know, probably more of the same, nothing really too exciting to show you guys. Well, eh, that's not exactly what happened. I've actually got a couple things to show you guys, so let's go look. We're out here at the winter pasture now. The first thing I wanna show you is number 49's new calf. He's okay. I knew we would get some different colors this year with rivet, but red was not a color I was expecting. So either rivet is the sire of this calf, which is possible and that he does have a, the ability to throw red calves or little boy, our black bull, I don't actually have um, a, a verified pedigree on him. We know he's at least 75% Black Angus. We assumed he was more, but I suppose that there is a possibility that he does carry a recessive red gene for coat color. And when he gets on a red cow, there is a possibility that he can make a red calf. So we're not really sure <laughs> who uh, who sired that one, but that, that was certainly a surprise. Back at the home ranch now, so I figured I'd give you an update on these two. The calf up, running around and playing ought to say it all. I'd say he's feeling pretty good. And I've caught him nursing on his own several times, so I think that we've actually reached the point where I can go ahead and set these two back out into the pasture. As it turned out, they really didn't need my help to learn how to nurse, but I do feel that locking them up in this pen in close quarters like I did was kind of the key to that success because she really wanted nothing to do with the calf and when you lock them up like this, she doesn't really have much choice. So now that they've established a bit of a bond, we can send them on their way. Well, rather than push her out, I'm just gonna leave the gate open and let them come out on their own time. I just wanna make sure that they stay together because, you know, if mother just goes and runs out in the field, 
she knows right where she's going but the calf doesn't so hopefully they walk out as a pair that's a big reason why i decided to turn them loose right now is because the calf was up and running around and feeling energetic and i felt like he was probably up for the journey so while they figure out what they're doing next let me show you the big thing that i noticed this morning that i wanted to show you we got two mothers and three calves and there's no mother missing. Number 44 had twins this morning. So the question always becomes, what do you do with a set of twins? Some cows will raise them, and I actually think that she is one that would because, you know, we're out here several hours after birth and they're all still together. But just because she has the mind to raise two of them doesn't mean that she has the milk supply to do so. And I just, since I've had this cow for several years, I know that she's not a real heavy milker and I think it would be best to pull one of these calves off of her. If I was to leave them both on her, and she did go ahead and raise both of them, what that would result in is two calves that just really never reach their full potential. They would never get very big because she wouldn't be giving them enough to eat. And not only would the calves kind of suffer from that, but the cow suffers from that as well because it's putting such a demand on her body. Everything that she eats essentially is going to making milk to feed these calves. I can see one of these calves is walking good. The other one looks a little bit selenium deficient. So I think the one that is not as mobile is going to be a good candidate to go back home and join the nursery and become a bottle calf. And a little fun fact about cow number 44 here, it's only been I think two or three years ago that she had a set of twins as a first calf heifer. So she's definitely got this uh, twinning gene in her. And I know people are going to ask because people ask every time I have a set of twins on camera. What is the genders of each? These are, these are mixed. We've got a male and a female. So yes, that means that the female is most likely sterile. This phenomenon is known as a free martin calf. And basically what causes this is that in utero, the calves share a blood supply and the testosterone from the bull calf uh, kind of basically messes up the way the, the heifer calf develops in such a way that she most likely will not be able to breed. I think she has like a 20% chance of being viable, 80% chance of being sterile. So we'll definitely wanna make a note about which one she is. All right, little one, I guess we better get you back up to the truck. And that is gonna be a long walk. Came a little better prepared this time. I think I will put this guy in the stock trailer uh, at least for the next day or so just because he is having trouble getting around with his legs the way they are. And I think the walking is gonna be a lot easier in here than it would be in the other pen. So let's, uh, I'll get him put in here now cause it is kind of windy and we'll get him out of that so he can warm up a little bit and then we'll go mix him up a bottle. Come, here. Come, here. Come on, Lever Junior. We're gonna go mix you up a bottle. We'll be right back. Because I know this guy is a bit selenium deficient what I'm going to do is cut off a little piece of this selenium salt block and we'll dissolve that into his milk ration. This isn't uncommon in twins. You can see that the other twin was perfectly fine and had no issues. Well, she was probably robbing this guy of what he needed. All right. 
Now I've got a little stick of salt here. I can just cut little bits off for him. This is a very expensive bottle here. Hopefully he doesn't spill too much of it. Normally I'd want him to stand up, but he doesn't stand too good. So we'll try it laying down first, see what happens. Yeah, your mouth is cold. bubbles going in the bottle. That's good. Give me a break. He got a bunch of good swallows there. Yeah, I think when the bottle was full, we were like up to there. So he's gotten quite a bit. Uh, now you're thinking about standing up? Well, now you're going to try to nurse the trailer. Okay, we unlocked. We unlocked something here. bubbles going in the bottle so that's that means he's getting some that's great see he just quit fighting me and got a lot better didn't it Despite how it looked, that actually went really well. He, he fought me at first, which is pretty typical, but once he figured out what we were doing, he was on board. His belly is full. I think the best thing we can do is just let him get some rest and I'll bring him another bottle here in a couple hours. A couple days later now, I'm over here at the winter pasture checking cows and somebody's hiding out down here. See if we can see what's going on. gonna come up to me okay I don't think mommy likes me here too much so we'll just get out of the way uh. 
another solid red one. <laughs> I'll tell you, this calving season, I just have no idea what the calves are gonna look like. Usually you have some sort of expectation of what you're gonna get, but this year we got everything under the sun. I think it's been two or three days since we put the, the black bottle calf here in the trailer. And when we first put him in there, you guys saw he wasn't doing too good. He wasn't getting around very well. He's made a lot of improvements in the last couple of days and I think he is ready to go into the pen with the original bottle calf. Still a little bit <clears throat> stiff leg, but all in all, he's pretty good. A lot stronger, a lot more vibrant. You can tell he's you know, trying to nurse on me right away. So we're gonna give him a little shot here from the bottle just to kind of wet his appetite, although I'm not sure that's necessary. And he ought to just follow me right over there. So the way he stands is still not perfect, but he's getting, whoa. <laughs> he's getting his feet on the ground the way they ought to be. And I think just being up and moving around in the next couple days will do him a lot of good. Come here, let's get you on the ground. Okay. Still got the bottle. Still got the bottle. Right there. Belly, how did you get out here? So the idea here is that he'll just follow me and if he doesn't, Give him a little swig from the bottle and he ought to just walk over there. That way I don't have to carry him. And it's good for him to get a little exercise. Daddy, what are you doing? He's trying to play. <laughs> Well, I have never seen the white one run around and play like this. The black one you can see is still not too sure on his feet, but he's getting just night and day difference from how he was when we brought him home. I think having the two calves together will be good for him. So what do you think? Are they gonna be happier together like this? I think Smokey will be happy when he has a friend when I bring him inside the house. <laughs> so this probably means that we're gonna have to always feed them together. I can't imagine feeding one without the other one trying to get get some milk too. So we've got two nursing bottles now and I'm hoping at some point we get them trained well enough to where I could just hold the bottle in each hand and and they could each nurse but I think uh, at least for now it's gonna be a two-man job. Well, I think that's gonna do it for this one. Thanks for hanging out with me today guys and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.